so, so there are some challenges when technology is, 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 is you know, introduced. I, and, and with that, I'd like to maybe uh, point that question to you, Aisha, from where, where you stand. Uh, what kind of challenges do you see uh, when, when technology is incorporated into city planning infrastructure? Thank you Ed, for that question. I think, look, the first problem that we see is that people don't know where to begin. There's so much hype about data and artificial intelligence especially. They don't understand how should they even begin to think about it. And every agency, urban development agency or private company that is supporting uh, the urban environment needs to think about it from a business first angle. So what we do at Addo is we go through this exercise of an AI strategy, just lasts a few weeks. And we say, these are your goals, your business goals, your pain points. These are the things you struggle with. And now this is your technical capability, your data capability. So we first identify what their goals are. And then the second thing that we do is that we evaluate and assess their current data and their systems. Do they have access to the data that they need? Is it easily accessible? Are they easily uh, integrated? And then we are able to give them a roadmap. Every three months, they should see some progress, some AI intervention that brings them relief from a pain point. Um, and without that roadmap, they really can't go forward. And that's the number one challenge. But even before you start a roadmap, you need an executive session. So a lot of what my team and I do, and we're doing that for private equity firms, we're doing that for global enterprises, we're doing it for governments, is taking the time to explain how artificial intelligence can benefit their organization, a tailored education, systematic way for them to understand. The biggest challenge is that the technology is not the challenge. Yes, it takes time. Your data is not of good quality. It's all over the place. But if you have your own expert team or expert advisors, such as Addo, which is us, then it's totally possible to address it. But if you don't understand, there's resistance and there's fear of using artificial intelligence and helping people, helping everyone, all the executives, the board, the chief executive officer through that journey is a critical part that most people don't realize. Interesting. And, and uh, Abdullah, if I point the same question to you and ask, uh, what challenges uh, uh, are, are you seeing with the, the adoption? Uh, and what guidance would you have to city planners or to construction well, companies saying, and professionals in general? Um, I think what Aisha said was uh, was was great uh, insight because it's, it always is a problem with people and, and uh, the ability for people to... to not really understand the technology, but to to adopt it into their busy lifestyles. And everybody, you know, change is the hardest thing, even though it's the most constant thing uh, and the only certain thing about life. It's actually the hardest thing for people to 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 do. Um, but I mean, I, I, and and what and I would also touch on what you said, uh, Riyadh, uh, moving on, on the modular construction part. Moving to a modular uh, process means basically that. Uh, Building a building uh, or a project is more like buying a car. You know, if you, you customize the car before you, it goes into production, you have to select the leather, the finishes. You, you cannot change your mind, and you have to basically specify every single detail before the order is released to the factory. And and uh, to achieve model the full benefits of modular construction, uh, the approach has to be similar to that. And that's a big challenge in the mindset of the construction industry, architects, developers. Uh, uh, consultants, everybody likes to change and, and they sometimes, and more often actually than not, they leave decision making to later stages and uh, 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 again, moving to a modular uh, world you, you know, it uh, requires a seismic shift in the approach to the construction industry, which I think is exciting actually because uh, it's the future. Yeah.